hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to make a change password with current password in laravel so guys now let's get started so first step let's go to this user profile and just add a button or a link for change password okay so what we can do let's move to this profile okay so we are on the profile blade.php and here is our user profile so i just wanted a, a tag over here let's add a done change password question mark and let's design this button so you can design this button button warning type and here you are going to create a url url open and close function where change hyphen password and now let's float this button to end done let's get back and check the output refresh code so now guys let's click on this change password and you'll find that url change password so now guys let's copy this url get back to your web.php and create a page so make sure you are in a middleware auth because you have to be authenticated user okay so route colon colon get method where you'll paste your url and then you're going to your controller so the controller is user controller guys so which we have made in the previous video let's copy this and paste here and password create okay so we are going to create the password page so now guys you can get back to your user controller of front end and let me minimize this now create a function and the function name is going to be password create and now you can remove this let's return view function where you will call front end folder inside users folder and you will create the page with the name change password so change hyphen password so let's copy this guys and get back to the users folder let me align everything let's go to resource views and front end inside front end we have a user let's create a file with the name change password dot blade dot php hit enter and now guys we need to extend the layout and design the form so for that guys i have already written a small post on that let's get back here you go and let's move below guys okay so here is the form which is step four let me copy this copy and get back paste it done guys as simple here you see we have extended the layout and if you want you can keep the title so we have the section for title also and here you mentioned change password and then guys as simple here row and column md6 this is for success message and this is for displaying your input errors and then card with the card header and change password heading then guys your form starts over here and form ends and inside this form we have a input which is the current password the new password and the confirm password so guys here you see we have set this input type name as current password and this is only password and the same spelling is added in your confirm password here password underscore confirmation so this is more important for the validation okay and then guys submit button so when you submit you are going to change password route okay with the method post and csrf token is sent so now guys as simple let's go to our web.php and create the route using post method where here you come and now let's copy this controller and paste it and here mention change password as simple guys now you can copy this and create a function inside your user controller so create a function with the change password and you are getting a request okay that means input request 
of request here you remove this so guys i have already written the code let me copy from that okay let's move top in the step three okay so we here i have pasted the code let's copy this guys right click copy and paste as simple so first we are doing the validation getting the current password doing the validation and the password doing the validation with confirmed okay so this will check for your underscore confirmation in your form so here is your confirm password so this is going to check okay done and now guys you are going to check for your current password with the help of hash check you will send your current password and it is going to check the authenticated user password as simple if that is true then we are going inside and updating the password else you are going to redirect back current password does not match with the old password as simple guys and here in the user model you find that authenticated user id and using the update function we are updating the name but we don't require to update the name let's remove that okay and here is the password so which is going to hash and make the password and now you can just import all the classes whatever we have used here hash auth and user so let's import this guys okay import class imported let me just show you that file so here you see illuminate support packets hash so now guys let's save and check the output for this and update the password and let's refresh here perfect so we got the output guys over here and now let's try to update the password so my current password is one two eight okay so now guys for testing i will be updating wrong password okay and here i am going to give correct password here and now let's update the password okay current password does not match with your old password right let us give the correct password one two three four five six seven eight and new password nine okay so here new password is nine and here is eight let's update password confirm does not match perfect so now guys let's enter the password correctly nine nine and now update password updated successfully done guys and now guys let's uh, if you type any password it should show in dot so for that let's add that as a password instead of text password here password and password and also add a back button here in the chain password let's add a tag and make as a back button button danger where you are going to route back to your profile okay url where you are going to profile done and make this to float end save it and now guys you can refresh and here you get a back button and the password if you type it will show in dot format and let's go back which means we are going to profile page so guys we have successfully completed with how to make a change password with current password validation in laravel okay in this video that's it let's continue in the next video guys with the new topic thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share